Hello YouTube. Thank you for coming to our channel. It's been a while since we made a, uh, a video and uh, I hope everyone's been staying safe with the, the COVID crisis that we've all experienced. Um, hopefully things are starting to get back to normal. Business is picking up a little bit it looks like. Uh, our thoughts and prayers to those who have lost loved ones uh, during this, these troubling times. Uh, we're coming to you from a brand new location. Uh, we moved our shop. Uh, COVID actually came about as being kind of a good time for us to relocate. And so we are in a much larger facility. We, we're, we're expanding. We're bringing on more services for our customers. Uh, and we'll, come, we'll, we'll do some more videos about that. Cover that in, in the coming weeks and period of time. But uh, today we actually have a special guest. Um, who has come in all the way from Missouri to talk with us about some top secret stuff that's been going on in the world of sand rakes. So while a lot of uh, companies have not been able to operate and even in our business everyone's been laying low, in the background the engineers and designers and the really smart people have been working hard uh, to bring us some new products. So I'd like to introduce Ken Ulrich. Ken is the Senior Welding Business Manager for Sanrex and uh, he brought in some exciting stuff today for us to talk about. This will be the first video. There'll be plenty more to come. Uh, so Ken, welcome. Thank you Joe, appreciate it. Hello everybody. I'm Ken Ulrich from Sandex Corporation and I uh, want to introduce uh, some of our new product we're coming out with, uh, something new to the market. What we've got here, as you see here, sitting on the counter here, is our plasma welding PW200. And what this gives you is an all-in-one package for plasma welding in a small box that's totally plug and play. Uh, to existing systems that are out in the field. This model runs on either 208, 240, single or three phase, 460, three phase. So any input voltage this little machine here will operate on. What's really neat about it is any existing torch is plug and play. It just connects right in and you're good to go into any system that's out there in the field. It offers two ranges, so you can do your microplasma on your real thin gauge tinfoil type metals from half amp to 20 amp, and then there's a high range for the thicker metals up to 3 16 5 amps to 200 amps. This machine will weld on all ferrous metals, so that's your titaniums, coppers, stainlesses, steels, uh, lead, anything like that. She will weld. Um, as far as machine, small lightweight, they're circular and everything's packaged in one system. Joe, I'll pass it back to you. Sure thing. It gives us a little introduction to this new machine. Love it, Ken. Thank, Thank you, you very everybody. Much. All right, YouTube. We're back here. Look at this 200 PW a little more closely. Just to take a look at it here and uh, to closer how we hook the torch up everything is plug and play easy connections for your torch and remote gases you know we have two gases here for this we have a pile of gas and a secondary gas and we'll go over all this in more detail in another video when we talk about what is plasma welding and how the torches work i'll do a couple of things to show you a little bit about the torch but there's some key differences over TIG. Basically, you can look at plasma welding as super TIG or the poor man's laser is kind of where I put it. So it's in that class in between those two processes. But basically what we have here with plasma, we have two arcs. We have a pilot arc that you turn on and that pilot arc is there to establish the welding arc. That's what it's there for. And I will show you that and turn it on, and you can actually see what happens in the torch with that arc. First, what I'm going to do 
I'm going to purge the gas. We want to make sure we have an argon atmosphere around the electrode. And I'll hit pilot start. And there's our pilot on the torch. A little bright, little arc there. Looks like a real bright flashlight on the end of the torch. And that's your pilot. And from that, that will transfer your welding arc. Um, and basically inside the torch, you have got behind the tip. You look, there's your electrode. It's very similar to TIG without the tip in it. So the magic happens when you put the tip in it. And like I said in another video, we will talk in more detail about what plasma is, what it has to offer over TIG and laser. Thank you very much. everyone, back again from Sandrex, talking about this 200 PW plasma welder. Easy connection with any on the market torch. Four connections, you just, they're plug and play right in the front. If you have a torch, it actually has a quick disconnect. All you need to do is remove the quick disconnect and hook the hoses right up to our machine. Plug and play, easy to do. We've got two gases, as I said previously, we have a shield gas and a plasma. Think of shield gas like your gas in TIG. It's there to eliminate the atmosphere from the puddle. The plasma gas, that comes out of the orifice of the torch and actually is what you ionize for the plasma and becomes the welding arc. We'll talk about more of this later in another video when we talk about the torch itself. The panel, real easy, intuitive panel to look at. First thing you want to do is check your welding current, which you're going to weld on. We have two ranges. You can see from the high-low button, you can change it to a low range or change it to your high range. In high range, again, we've got a maximum of 200 amps. Adjusted by the knob on the front. When you go through the parameters on the front, go through your hot start, start with your pre-flow, set the amount of gas you want before the weld starts, go to your hot start, give you an initial puddle start when you weld, and your weld current, this is your peak current while welding that you can get out of the machine, again you set it by the dial on the front. Then you go into post flow and set your post flow. Also have pulse. If you need pulse in your weld, there's also a memory function so you can save the settings that you have into the memory of the machine. Then you've got some extra settings here in parameters where you can set what happens to the interface should you be hooking to a robot, PLC, things like that in automation practices. Uh, that's pretty much how simple the front is and how easy it is to set and operate. We try to make it simple, easy, user-friendly, plug-and-play system for existing plasma welding that's done in the field. Thank you very much. Well, that's very exciting stuff. So a brand new machine that's going to be uh, real useful in the market to replace some of the systems that have been deemed obsolete by other manufacturers. Uh, it sounds like pretty much a plug and play if you have one of those competitive machines. So there's an easy adapter cable. So if you have existing control wiring, just need a cable. No longer use this leak thrown device. So I'm actually kind of glad to see that go away. Plus we get an extra 50 amps uh, instead of an Ultima 150, 150 amps. Now we have 
a 200 amp machine, 60% duty cycle at 200 amps gives us 100% at 150. So you'll be able to weld 3 16 material, ferrous materials with this machine. Uh, it's going to be a showstopper. So again, this is top secret information, so please don't share this with our competition. Uh, we don't want word getting out uh, that we're going to have the ideal perfect replacement for that uh, obsolete Ultima 150. Uh, again, easy retrofits, basically a plug and play replacement, modern intuitive controls and front panel, built in pulse, built in weld sequencer, no need to add the extra boxes, the extra expense, it's already built in. Full digital control, microprocessor control, small footprint, uh, built in coolant recirculator. And I hear, I don't know, but I hear that this pump is going to be easy to change. I guess time will tell. So again, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to watch the next two because we've got some more exciting top secret items coming from Sandrix. Thank you, everybody. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell so that you get the notifications of all of our new videos. Thank you very much.